the guy that probably had the most influence on my life was my father. Um, it's not that we always saw eye to eye, far from it, uh, but um, a living with a regimental sergeant major is not easy. Um, so I was a very shy, introvert fellow. And when I hit 13, uh, the commanding officer of the school cadet corps, army cadet corps, sent home a form. And because it was voluntary then, prior to that it had been compulsory, it was now voluntary, had to have parental permission so they could get you into the army cadets if you wished to join. Well, my father, there was no discussion. My father volunteered me. And uh, <laughs> it was a turning point because I was forced to become far more extrovert. Uh, if you want to teach a squad of cadets, uh, stand up in front of a group of people um, and so on, uh, you have to become more extrovert. I went on to become a senior school prefect. I not only was a member of the school cadet corps, I went on the adult staff and taught at an outside cadet corps as an adult sergeant when I was 18. And that scholarship that I got with Richard Thomas Baldwin's in large part was due to the fact that because of all the work I'd done with cadets, plus obviously academic ability, um, when I was interviewed, the interviewer was uh, an ex-Indian Army colonel. So all that cadet work stood me in very good stead, paid off. Um, I think they put out 16 scholarships that year out of uh, 5,000 plus applicants. So, you know, it was, uh, it was a, a, a very good move. And at university, I went through the officer's training corps. I was commissioned into the Territorial Army as a second lieutenant in 1966, and uh, so on. So it, it, it was something which allowed me to, or forced me to become more extrovert uh, and to develop whatever leadership potential I may or may not have had. So. Uh, you know, I, I seem to find that just about any organization I, I, I join, whether it be, you know, sort of Kiwanis Club or, <laughs> or the Opera Guild, uh, I always seem to end up, uh, you know, as the president. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so, yes, it was, it, was a, it was a turning point in my life. And uh, for that, I thank him. He knew more about me than I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> that's what parents are for sometimes. <laughs>